time um, now for this hour's car review. 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300. Available trim levels. There's only one. That's this one, the GLC 300. Uh, review trim level is a complete redesign for 2023. This is a, considered a small SUV. Uh, has five seats in it. Uh, exterior changes, complete redesign, and it's nice. Exterior features, nicely proportioned grille with enlarged Mercedes-Benz emblem mm-hmm. in the middle of it. It's, it's very large. Everybody can see what it is when it's coming. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, big, conservatively designed alloy wheels, fake brake ducts behind the rear wheel openings, subtle and a subtle nod to performance. Hmm. It's, it's just a little thing that I picked up on. If you look at it down the side, it's, it's nice. I like it. Um, chrome dual exhaust trumpets or strumpets. I like that. On the lower rear valance. That's very nice, too. What I liked about it, the overall styling. Classy, stylish, and sexy. Oh. What could use improvement? Nothing. Don't touch it. You're done good. Interior highlights. High-end luxurious appeal with styling, great controls and materials, smooth center console covers over the cup holders and the console storage, and they did this so cool. Different, yeah. It, yeah. So it's got a smooth cover that goes over, over the top of the cup holders, and that blends right into the size and shape of the center console cover for your elbow. It, it was it, brilliant. Why I haven't done this before? Good design. Yep. Uh, high zoot option is eye-popping. Uh, rear seat is roomy for the size vehicle this is. Cargo trunk room, adequate for a road trip. This is a small SUV now. Rear seat comfort, AC controls, and the screen is what I liked about that. Uh, what could use improvement? The cell phone holder is kind of hard to get to. It's kind of tucked up under the dashboard through the center console and cup holder. Oh. So they could do a little bit better in that department, but it's not going to deter me from buying this thing. Did this have the dual roof? Um, Extra large sunroof? Yeah, I think so. Panoramic. Two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder and a mild hybrid system has 255 horsepower. 295 pound-feet of torque, and through a nine-speed automatic transmission, it runs great. It works great together. I'll tell you what. Say what you will about Mercedes-Benz. I don't care. It is a top-notch class act, and boy, the styling on this thing on the interior, ah, wow. Well, Angie's got a GLC 300. Her, uh, uh, hers is 2018. She loves it, and it's it's a gorgeous interior on the car. It's complete redesign, and I'll tell you what, that interior, that dashboard, all of it, it just is amazing. Uh, 23 miles per gallon city, 31 highway for a combined of 26. I got 28.1 miles per gallon, over 378, perked nine miles. What I liked about it, plenty of power and get up and go. What could use improvement? Sometimes the transmission is a little slow to downshift. Now, I will tell you that I am a two-foot driver, Mm -hmm. left foot brake, right foot gas, Mm -hmm. and I can be pretty quick between the two. Cars aren't designed to understand that. It can confuse a car. Yes, it can. And uh, I I use both pedals. So bad on me, but I'm telling you, it it was a little slow to downshift at times because I'm sure I confused the car. Well, you're also used to driving a stick, too. Well, there's that, but I've always driven with two feet, and I know that's not that what I was taught or how I was taught to drive with automatic transmissions, but I do now. And no, I don't ride the brake. Thank no. you. Ride and handling, smooth but agile. What could use improvement? Nothing. And this was kind of surprising, too. Base trim price is forty nine one. Prices tested was fifty six six fifty, And for amount of content for this vehicle, it's worth it. Wow. Base model price is forty seven one. But they got to pay for Lewis Hamilton somehow. Good one. <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's for you. Yeah. You did that for I you. Know. Uh, competitors, the Acura RDX. Now, I'm sorry. I don't really think that a uh, uh, Acura RDX can really compare to this, but 41550 is where it starts. Audi Q5, 435, and the Volvo X60, 43450. So it's a little bit 
higher priced going in than those other vehicles, but those are the closest competitors. This is a complete redesign. I have to underscore that. Not that the outgoing model was bad, no, but no, boy, no. this one, who is this sweet? You know, it's funny how they build a car and then they take it and go, hmm, okay, how are we going to improve it? I don't know how they improved it because I don't remember the old one. You do. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you that this thing is so weak. Mm. Have you driven it yet? No. Oh, my gosh. When, when and if you do, I think that you're going to be impressed as well. And that's my review of the 2024, nope, 2023 GLC 300 formatic SUV. Good so looking is, car. It, it is. It really is. And it was beautiful, white, uh, with a beautiful interior. It, but the way that it was styled, really, you go, gee whiz, Ooh. why don't they all do that? Yeah. Because you can do that kind of styling, maybe not at that price level, but you can do it. Let, let, me, turn, let me turn your microphone on, Mike. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I also think that color makes a difference in it, too. You know, some of the styling, you put the wrong color on there and it wouldn't look near as good. I, but I have a thing about white cars. I love white cars. I do, too. They look classy to me. And, they, and clean. Very clean, yes, when they're washed. Well, they don't and look near as dirty when they're dirty either. Well, that's true. It's kind of like, never mind. No, I want to hear it. Go ahead. Uh, we, we have guests waiting. <laughs> He's good. He was going to go there, but he thought, yeah. no, Becky's listening. It's been, no. it's been one of them mornings. There's no point making it even worse. Uh -huh. There you go. want to remind you that.